Heavenly's business prescription. Now guys, this is step four of a series of 10, 10 steps to a successful business. Now we've already talked about um, fixed and variable expenses and the expenses of your office and we've already determined that your payroll is probably your highest expense uh, after taxes uh, for your office. Now, I would like to, to tell you that the next step would be know your numbers. You got to know your numbers. They got to be a distinct budget for your office. Like I said before, there are fixed and variable expenses. You have your rent, your light bill, your phone bill, fixed expenses. You have your variable expenses, meaning your, your, your orders, your supplies, different things like that. You have to know exactly how much you need by the day. If you need $50,000 to pay your staff and send you a salary as well, a nice salary as well, then you know you need $2,500 a day, like we said before. Now, but knowing your numbers, you need to have a straight percentage that you're going to use in your budget. For example, for my budget, 7% may go to supplies. 10% may go to a lab. Uh, 3% has to go to marketing, and I have to recapitulate. Marketing is so important, especially in a down market. You got to market, but everything has a certain percentage. And when you come down to the percentages, I'm a stickler for them. I don't care if it's $5 off. I want it to be right to the nickel as far as your budget is concerned. If my, if my marketing is over 3%, I need to make an adjustment. If my payroll is over 20%, I need to make an adjustment. Because payroll is the highest bill, a lot of big businesses, the first thing they change when they're having a problem with their, their income will be they either cut hours, they cut staff, or they cut salary. That's a hard truth, but that's what you have to do because it's never about you. It's never about me. It's about the health of the business. Now, one of my fans asked me a question about network marketing. How can I help him build his business with network marketing? The way that I would use to market a network marketing business would be use YouTube videos to explain the, biz the business to people and explain the opportunity so they understand how they make money and how they can build a team. So use that social media, YouTube videos to explain the information, use Twitter, use Facebook to explain who you are and what you're presenting to people, whether you're selling network marketing uh, juices or whatever it may be, you can use the social media, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, and most, most definitely YouTube because you can actually put a video out just like what I'm doing and explain what the opportunity is. This is another Dr. Heavenly business prescription. I want you all to continue to follow me. I have my new fresh website out there, www.drheavenly.com. From there, please subscribe to our e-newsletter. We got a lot of great information for you guys. And keep the questions coming. <laughs>